So we are in Nagasaki Park. We're gonna go to the Peace Museum. We drove around two hours from the city of Kurume to come all the way here. Let's see if it's worth the visit or not. I think so. Get the tickets first. Do you have tickets or I'll buy for you? That's the wall remain from the school. Everything else was destroyed. This is the church. Everything remain from the church. Some stones, some statues. Stones from the cathedral. So as I just said, the museum's part finished. Now we're looking for the peace statue and the atomic power piper center where the exact bombing happened. It's over there. Should we go and have a look? Nice cherry blossom. So, I just missed it by a week, but um, I'm gonna go to Yamagata anyway, so no problem, I'll take more videos, but it's still looking nice. You can still see some shades of pink, that's uh, actually showing at the exact time of the bombing, so on the 9th. 9th of August, 11 in the morning, 11 of two a.m. Exact time of the bombing. And if you go to if you go to the museum, you'll see a lot of them actually start around the same time. So the clock basically got influenced by the bomb, and the clock stopped. They, they show a few of those, quite interesting. Now we are heading to the hypo center. There, there is the place that the bomb was dropped and it's from there that they measure the radius in which um, the effect of the bombing happened. So that's ground zero basically. I think that's the place they would put the flower as well. where the bomb was dropped and took so many lives it was interesting in the museum some people actually agree with the bombing so that was the first time I actually thought well people actually supported it <coughs> you can see the name of some people this guy 
Okay. Or is this the memorial? Mm. Okay. All right. I'll uh, cover up the next part after this, which will be probably the peace statue. So until then, see you guys. We are in front of the peace fountain. We're gonna find our way to the peace statue all the way there. We came the wrong way. It was actually an escalator, but um, we didn't use it. We had to come from the stairs, which was still nice, nice garden. But if you're lazy, take the escalator and come the right way. So, I'm not sure what's the significance of this uh, fountain, but it looks beautiful and lots of nice flowers. So, maybe. Maybe because we came during the April, during the spring season, that's why we can enjoy watching all these beautiful flowers. And here we go. The peak statue. So the top hand is pointing on the sky, saying the bomb's coming. And the other hand is showing peace. That's why it's called the peace statue. And I guess these are these statues are about the baby and parents. So let's see. Yeah. Probably in memory of the children who died with their own parents. It was quite sad to see the sights in the museum. They were showing parents holding their babies and giving them milk, breastfeeding them. Quite a sad sight. But anyway, let's head to the main area for Nagasaki. Peace statue. So we are in the Peace Park in Nagasaki. The other side is the Fountain of Peace. And now I'm gonna walk towards the peace statue which is the main um, sort of place to visit for Nagasaki first thing to watch is the atomic bomb museum the hypo center and then you follow the path in the park to visit the fountain and as you walk straight down you see the peace statue museum which is what you can see behind me now. So the peace statue basically symbolizes two things. One is that it's symbolizing the atomic bomb that came from the top, as you can see. And the next shows the peace. This statue was built 10 years after the bombing in the memory of what happened in Nagasaki. And as you can see on the side, both sides, they have an area for prayers and paying respect. Which I cannot read, but it's good for having a look. And there's an origami style bird on the top. 